take two. Okay, trying to see the microwave work. Microwave. <laughs> <laughs> might just keep that one. Yeah. Today we are heading to Borden Town, one of our favorite little towns in New Jersey. We love it because it has a main street, lots of shops, really cute cafes, things yeah. to do, and it's all walkable. So it's yeah. one of your uh, main street, small town feels that a lot of our clients are requesting. So, and our hair salon is right on Main Street too, so we'll take a little bit of a tour as well. That's where we're heading now, so we'll see you there in a little bit. appointments yeah so we're all done and looking pretty <laughs> and this is our place to visit and we just wanted to give you a tour of Wardentown and we grabbed the coffee at a new place which is really cool what did you get I got a lavender latte which and is really neat I got the pride passion mocha mm -hmm. and it's pretty good mm -hmm. so we love Wardentown because it is your true quaint small town they have an amazing main street they have amazing restaurants, and if you think about it, this is the town of about about 3,000 people, okay. and you can walk everywhere. So it's really close to Delaware River, so you can go enjoy the views there. And there, everything is in town. There's a grocery store, there is a dentist on Main Street, there's a library, there's a post office. You can get some something to eat at amazing restaurants right on Main Street, which is Farnsworth Avenue, and there's grab some a coffee. There's a lot of antique shops too, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of like boutiques and antiques and you know things that you, you know some some things that some people might be interested in. I know I am. Mm -hmm. So, so we we took a drive around and wanted to show you also what it's like to live in a small town, to show you what kind of styles of the homes uh, that you can live in here, and the price points are generally between about two hundred thousand for a nice size row home all the way up to 700,000 if you want some of the older style, beautiful 
home that could also be on the historic registry. Some of these homes here that were built and are actually dating back to 1700. So it's a really cool, small town that has lots of history. And when we got our hair done, we actually asked our uh, hair hairdressers, what do they love about this town? And one of them said that the food is amazing. Yeah. And the other one said that she loves being here because the whole community ho helps small businesses in town to prosper and to do well. And there's always something going on. Yeah. They have a cranberry festival in October. They have a fest in the a springtime where they shut down the main street and there's lots of vendors and small businesses that uh, sell sell their products so there's always something going on just yeah, about every month of the, of the year it's very it's very interactive very community bound mm -hmm. so very much so so the cool thing about this place is that it's um, if you wanted to take a train to Philly it's about an hour and 20 minutes if you wanted to take a train to New York, it's about the same to probably an hour and 15 minutes with a couple of train stations not too far. If you wanted to go down the shore, it's about 50 minutes and you take 195 straight down. Yeah. And uh, to uh, McGuire, Fort Dix base, it's only 23 minutes. So that's a great place to live if you are coming to work on base for some of our military clients. So it's really close to everything. Uh, one of our best kept secrets that we have here in Central Jersey is actually our Trenton Mercer Airport. That airport Ooh, yeah. flies to many everywhere. It goes everywhere, everywhere, especially Florida. Yes, that's where we which go we all love. The time. <laughs> Absolutely, and then it's 23 minutes from here. So, and then of course we have Philly Airport about an hour away, and then New York Airport about an hour away. So this is one of the best kept little towns that we have in Central New Jersey that we wanted to share with you so so different styles of homes most of them are going to be older lots of porches you'll see some single family homes twins and also row homes lots of greenery lots of flowers to enjoy and of course you can see homes that can start around mid 200s and of course go up to some houses that are true large big colonials like this one that you drive by and they're just super super magnificent magnificent also if you look at the map i love the fact that the town is located right in the middle between the major highways or where you need to get to and it's super small and super walkable so of course you can get to everywhere you need to go yet still have that small town feel and just walk around the whole town say hello to your neighbors and do everything that you need to do in the town. So what do you think guys? A pretty neat place to visit, right? And maybe a great place to live. Well, I hope that you enjoyed our tour of Warren Town and you get an opportunity to visit. And if you have any more questions about what it's like to live here or any other towns here in New Jersey or on the other side of the Delaware River in PA, please reach out. We're always happy to help. Until next time.